The Fat Controller stood on the platform. Percy and Toby watched him anxiously. Yeah, he said, is Daisy, the diesel rail car, who has come to help while Thomas is, uh, indisposed. Please, sir, asked Percy, will she go, sir, when Thomas comes back, sir? That depends, said the Fat Controller. Meanwhile, however long she stays, I hope you will both make her welcome and comfortable. Yes, sir, we'll try, sir, said the engines. Good. Run along now and show her the shed. She'll want to rest after her journey. Daisy was hard to please. She shuddered at the engine shed. This is dreadfully smelly, she announced. I'm highly sprung, and anything smelly is bad for my swerves. They tried the carriage shed. This is better, said Daisy. But whatever is that rubbish? The rubbish turned out to be Annie, Clarabelle and Henrietta, who were most offended. We won't stay to be insulted, they fumed. Percy and Toby had to take them away, and spend half the night soothing their hurt feelings. The engines woke next morning, feeling exhausted. Daisy, on the other hand, felt bright and cheerful. Yee-hoo! Yee-hoo! She tooted as she came out of the yard, and back to the station. Look at me! She purred to the waiting passengers. I'm the latest diesel, highly sprung and right up to date. You won't want Thomas's bumpy old Annie and Clarabelle now. The passengers were interested. They climbed in and sat back comfortably, waiting for Daisy to start. Every morning a van is coupled to Thomas's first train. The farmers send their milk to the station, and Thomas takes it down to the dairy. Thomas never minds the extra load, but Daisy did. As soon as she saw that the van was to be coupled to her, she stopped purring. They expect me to pull that, she asked indignantly. Surely, said her driver, you can pull one van. I won't, said Daisy. Percy can do it. He loves messing about with trucks. She began to shudder violently. Nonsense, said her driver. Come on now, back down. Daisy lurched backwards. She was so cross that she blew a fuse. Told you, she said, and stopped. The shunter, the guard, the station master, and her driver all argued with her. It was no use. It's Fitter's orders, she said. What is? My Fitter's a very nice man. He's interested in my case. He comes every week and examines me carefully. Daisy, he says, never, never pull. You're highly sprung and pulling is bad for your swerves. So that's how it is, finished Daisy. Stop and nonsense, said the station master. I can't understand, said the shunter. Whatever made the fat controller send us such a feeble, <laughs> feeble, spluttered Daisy. Let me stop arguing, grumbled the passengers. We're late already. So they uncoupled the van, and Daisy purred away, feeling very pleased with herself. That's a good story, she chuckled. I'll do just what work I choose, and no more. But she said it to herself.